Oh my gosh. Whoa! Uh, this is not this is not safe. And we're frickin' stuck. There we go, four wheel drive got us out. Yeah, that probably wasn't the best idea. Now that it's all wet and everything, my tires are about bald. I also don't have a spare tire at all, so I'm out of there. Let's continue on before it's completely dark. <laughs> oh, let me slow down. Look at that, the water's really high. Good thing there's no one out here at all. Let's go back to the two wheel drive. There we go. Yeah. All right. What's up, guys? In the middle of nowhere now, so I got this. 104 octane boost, also ultra concentrated clean fuel injectors, treats up to 21 gallons. I think it's about 22 gallons in the tank, so I'm just about to load her up. Drove her the whole way here and did that little off-road thing. I went to the off-road place near here that I knew. I realized it. I went to it. I almost, I almost rolled. It was bad. But yeah, so about to pour the whole thing in. I paid two bucks for it. So if it doesn't work, I mean, I'm, I'm lost of two bucks. Oh, doesn't smell as bad as the transmission fluid. I don't know what it smells. What does that smell like? I don't know, it's rubber. All right, about to pour the whole thing in while the engine is running. There we go, it's all going and then the tank, so now all it's up to do is go for a drive to the Ford dealer and see how she rolls. Alright, let's get going. Gosh. In the mountain. Thumbnail, thumbnail, thumbnail. Can you see me? Mm-hmm. All right, check it out. Just got out of the truck, and over here we got this Silverado. And these are the wheels I used to have. They're a little bit different in detail, but this box is too big. Gosh, eight foot long beds, man. Just, I don't know, they don't look too big for my body style. I think this looks right. This looks right right here. And one of the things that I didn't know about the Ford Power Strokes is that they make extended cabs. Look at this. I was trying to decide, you know, what, whatever my next truck someday would be, if it would be a Ram or a Ford, and because I'm trying to get something with solid axle, and I'm looking at it, and gosh, look at that. They, they make extended cabs. I never even knew that. That's ridiculous. Come check this truck out. Oh, man. What I'm seeing with the work trucks, though, is that they're all coming with these tan interiors. So that's the only thing that I don't like is that they have these tan interiors. I'm trying to go black, but... This is perfect. If Ram would just do this, it would be amazing. I know that Chevy does it, but they do the smaller cab in the back, smaller door. But I didn't know that they did this with these trucks, and that's so nice. These trucks look so good. Look at the height of these stocks. That's the thing that I noticed about these trucks, is that they sit the highest out of all three of them. And what I love about the lights, and these, this truck doesn't have it in particular, but the ones where they have the, the LED going down, and around the daytime running lights that look so amazing for this truck. The badging is just kind of big, but look, this has the black front end, so you could easily paint match this. You don't have to worry about the chrome chipping. Of course, a lot of them do come with the black bumper on the bottom. But man, this truck looks so good. Uh, it's, this is a gasser, though. We got the cab lights on the top, but the front end is just so, it's such an aggressive look. It's so big and massive. Super duty. Oh man. Gosh, it's so big. It's just a giant ass truck. The thing I like about the back bumper is that it comes up to the edge here. I, I really like that design. I think it looks really nice. Obviously, it just it goes against completely the Chevy thing where they have this the step right here that you can just step up into the truck. They make it higher here so you can't even do that at all. That's that. But we got this white one over here, and this one actually is a power stroke. 
and here it is. We got the dual tips out the back. It's white. It's a long box. It's got the four doors on it, and he wants sixty thousand dollars for it. Tan interior. And the one thing about the XL, and then there's the XLT, I'm pretty sure, is that the XLT actually has the USB port. That's the one thing in the interior. I don't care about anything else, is that I want the USB port. So I'd have to get an XLT if I did end up getting a Ford one day. But I love how they make the extended cabs on these trucks. I never even knew that. Look at that. Oh. Gosh dang it. It looks so good. It's already recording. We just made it here to the 717 Armory. I just parked the truck over there. And here we go. Look at that. <laughs> So we're inside the range now, and it's very expensive. I'm here now with the AR right here sitting on the table. We just set up the set up this thingy right here, the, the target. And yeah, the ammo we're using here is. So I'll bring you into my target and I'm going to set you up on this piece of tape and then you'll be able to see everything. Alright guys, let me see how bad of a bad of an aim again. I aimed around this region right here. Some of this stuff is taped, so I'm thinking it was here. I was trying to aim low to get up here because obviously we have this sporadic nonsense that I took to uh, there. You know, I thought I saw something. Yeah, so it's all good. Oh yeah. Alright guys, so I'm about to tape over all of these. I'm going to put it at the farthest one and I'm just going to blaze glory it out and see if we can get it. <laughs> Pull it in and see if I actually got anything from that last one. I wouldn't put a 19 yards, so I don't think I really got anything, but who knows. Alright, guys, check it on out. We have shots right there. Uh, I think I can call in a Harrier or a Chopin anyway. That good of a shot, I guess. I gotta buy one of these. <laughs> What's going on? We just got out there, got the headshots, you know what I mean? It was a pretty good experience there. I was repping the 717 Armory shirt before I even, before I, before I even been there before. I knew it was going to be a good experience. So right there, we got a nice truck right there. That's Austin's truck. I met him before. It has the seven and a half inch rough country lift, one and a half inch body lift, or one and a quarter or whatever. And then he's also running the 35s. He used to have fender flares on it, but as you can see, he took it off. So now he's rocking stance. Man, that is a nice truck. I love the mirrors. I love how it's clean and debadged on the side. It looks really good, so that's just a hint of what I can do. Man, it looks nice. Yeah. Even the wiper blades are white. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. 
nice. Oh yeah, debadged in the back. But he 